Codebright uh, has been developed for the solution of geotechnical engineering problems. Sebastián Olivella, myself, Alfonso Rodríguez Dono and Jean Bonat, we are the Codebright team and uh, in this presentation Erdem Torrac, Xavier Pintado and Ivan Puig Damián are researchers that have contributed uh, to the work presented here. Codebright solves the questions that are uh, summarized in this transparency, which include mass balance, energy balance, and momentum balance. There is a set of uh, quantitative equations and equilibrium restrictions, and I can mention ideal gas for the properties of uh, fluids, uh, bank Newton for the unsaturated response of porous materials, Fourier for heat conduction, Darcy for fluid flow, and Fick for uh, diffusion and dispersion mass transport. A number of mechanical constitutive equations have been implemented in the code. Uh, they are for rocks and soils and include, include very specific uh, features that are investigated in the laboratory. And, uh, for instance, give solution for unsaturated behavior of materials, thermal effects, uh, hardening, softening, etc. This is how Codebright looks like in the GID environment. Uh, specific windows have been developed for the specific features of Codebright, and it's uh, important to highlight that for material properties have a number of constitutive uh, equations and parameters available in the, in the interface. Codebright um, has a web page in which you can find material uh, for the uh, self-learning of the program use and uh, this material includes tutorials, tutorials for beginners and tutorials for advanced users. We work in a spent full disposal. Um, it's a problem that uh, different countries face. Uh, it's related to the generation of uh, energy with the nuclear power plants and uh, the waste that is generated has to be stored and just isolated. And one of the solutions that is proposed is the underground disposal and here that's a representation of the underground disposal in in the rock um, that's something that is a work we carry out for agencies of uh, nuclear waste disposal in this particular case for uh, Posiva in Finland but we also work for SKP in Sweden, Andra in France, GRS in Germany. These four companies or institutions um, give support for the development of uh, Codebright. The multi barrier system is based on the idea that the isolation is uh, guaranteed by several components. We investigate uh, the geological materials, uh, which are to the host rock and the clay based engineered barrier. This is an example of the type of models we develop. You see here the the drift, uh, a vertical bohole, uh, waste installed in it and the different components and in this case the temperature that uh, develops due to the remaining power in this uh, uh, spent uh, fuel uh, components. It's not only temperature but also fluid flow and deformation. Here you can see the liquid pressures developed in the system as water flows from the rock and tries to fully saturate the material. At the same time, a swelling pressure develops because the uh, clay-based materials are highly expansive. These are the type of materials we investigate. Clay-based materials, in this case it's power, powder or pellets. We do laboratory work and then we use some models and uh, develop them in terms of calibrating the response of these materials for loading, hydration, and so it's a full mechanical, hydraulic, and thermal characterization of the 
material. You can see in this case the sample uh, shows indication that it was originally made with pellets and then the pellets have expanded and this uh, more uniform structure has uh, developed. We use the constitutive equations and the approach to model large scale uh, schemes. In this case, it's for a laboratory, for an in situ laboratory. And in this uh, laboratory, there are different drifts in which they, have, they are vertical boreholes. The vertical boreholes are intended for um, installing. Um, um, not, not directly nuclear waste, but, but heaters that simulate the nuclear waste, and then all the thermo, hydro, and mechanical uh, uh, processes can be investigated um, in situ. And measurements are made, and the models that can predict the evolution of um, as I said, temperature, pressures, uh, displacement, stresses, etc. Uh, the model um, in this case um, is not sufficiently detailed in the uh, zone of interest of the barrier, so normally we can do other type of models. And this is a more detailed model for the zone of interest of the drift and boreholes. And then here you can see the solution for temperature, liquid pressure and displacements. We have considered one of the boreholes and we have made a comprehensive sensitivity calculation. The results, the results for the sensitivity analysis are very important for the performance performance assessment studies. In this case, you see that temperature, liquid pressure, and stress is highly sensitive to, um, for instance, presence of fractures, properties of the rock, presence of gaps, whether the gaps are empty or are backfilled with uh, pellet materials. Um, so different um, engineering uh, related aspects that can change from one zone to another and in, even in the same repository. In this context, uh, there is uh, another research uh, line which is related to the gas migration in the clay-based materials. Uh, this part of the presentation describes an experiment that has been carried out at the British Geological Survey and is uh, investigated um, uh, to understand and characterize the material with respect to gas flow. You see that um, in this case there is an inflow uh, protocol and then that produces some pressure increment. Uh, that pressure increment um, develops flow, then flow uh, managed to outflow on the other side of the sample and stresses develop. Uh, this flow is um, characterized by formation of preferential paths. So it's not by it's not only by diffusion and advection, but it's necessary to have some um, development of preferential paths to permit the gas to flow through the sample. To prepare the model, uh, in addition to the representation of the sample itself, we need to add uh, some specific features uh, because uh, it's a very complex model that uh, uh, filters and uh, additional elements of the experiments play a role because they have some uh, volume that are attached to the sample. And then it's important to do this um, re representation in a correct way. This uh, picture shows that uh, there are some sensors that uh, are connected through pipes and then this represents a volume that is attached to the sample and this has to be considered uh, to produce a correct modeling. The sample in this case is represented by some heterogeneity. Heterogeneity is quite sophisticated, it's not uh, that uh, some properties are heterogeneous but 
a function of uh, permeability depending on the deformations um, um, has a heterogeneity incorporated and then uh, some parts of the material might undergo some uh, permeability variations and that uh, is interesting for the modeling of the preferential paths for the gas flow. Then uh, gas uh, penetrates in the sample at the beginning by diffusion. Then there is some water uh, displacement. And uh, finally, at some point, there is a breakthrough and gas can flow uh, from the inflow point to the outflow point of the sample. And then, if uh, you see in our model, we can represent some preferential paths. And the model is able to capture um, this type of uh, feature of um, um, kind of uh, formation of uh, preferential paths through the sample. The results of the model in terms of uh, flow rates, pressure and stresses can be compar compared with the measurements and the results are quite satisfactory. And uh, the model permits to understand what are the main um, type of uh, mechanisms for flow depending on the part of the experiment. At the beginning, there is diffusion, as I said. As I said. Then there is some advection through the liquid phase as the water is displaced. And then in a third phase, uh, there is a formation of a gas phase. And the, that gas phase... Uh, uh, permits the gas to flow by advection. Um, as I said, this is by a preferential path. This is very much connected. The interpretation of these gas flow uh, mechanisms is uh, very consistent with what happens in the boundary conditions of inflow and outflow. A comprehensive sensitivity analysis has been carried out in order to uh, permit the calibration of the model. Uh, properties of the material and properties of the laboratory equipment have been calibrated and, and then at the end the good solution that has been presented has been reached. The models and parameters, we are using them uh, for a large scale uh, calculations and for instance here you can see a tunnel in which um, excavation of the rock has been carried out then installation of the different components including three heaters uh, representing the waste uh, disposal uh, have been um, installed and then heating stars and water flow and the formations uh, are modeled um, this is a work we are doing uh, for the Swiss Agency of Nuclear Waste Disposal, NAGRA. Thanks for your uh, attention and Codebright, uh, you can find information in the social networks and web page. Um, and we organize courses, uh, we have uh, material available and we are happy to help uh, people to use the program.